It's Taylor from Dames All I Mode, and today I'm excited to share with you my featured collection for autumn of 2021. This collection was inspired by warm colors of the season and a little bit of spooky mysteriousness thrown in there as well. So let's get started because I'm just really excited. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is actually this necklace that I am wearing right here. This is a collet necklace made with vintage Swarovski crystals in a color called Indian Sapphire. This is a really difficult stone to find. They're super rare and they're this beautiful color of sort of gray, blue mixed together. They have a little bit of slate color to them with this beautiful sparkle. These are super limited. I bought everything that they had for my supplier. <laughs> so get one while you can. And this is also available in an earring as well. These are my medium octagon size stones. Next up, we have another new collet necklace, and this one is made with vintage Swarovski crystals in a Madeira topaz color. This is one of my favorite tones that you can find in Swarovski crystals. They have this beautiful, warm, almost whiskey-like quality to them, just this rich, deep, warm topaz color. They're not quite orange and they're not quite brown. They have this sort of indescribable quality to them that's really, really beautiful. I've had these available in other sizes before, but this is the first time I've had them in my medium oval sizes. And they're also set in open-backed settings, which means that the light shines through them a little bit differently and they have a little bit more of a subtle sparkle to them. This is a beautiful necklace for everyday wear because of this lovely size that it is, makes it super flexible. Gosh, these stones are just gorgeous. And these are also available as earrings as well. This is a necklace that's currently in my shop. It's a beautiful color of very, very deep, rich burgundy red. And these are made with shell pearls. So these are beads that are made with pearl nacre. So they have all the wonderful weight and quality and that wonderful pearl clicking noise that you get, but of course they aren't the cost of pearls. Now we know that red coral was really popular during the Georgian period, especially in the Regency era, and I've never actually seen real stones in portraits or in antique pieces that are this really deep color of red, but it was just so beautiful that I could not resist it. So this would be a great sort of fantasy historical piece or this color just for everyday wear is magnificent. It's just this rich blood red. I kind of love it. It's a little bit dark and really gorgeous, so. Huh. <laughs> and these are medium size, about 10 millimeter stones. So they're a very nice impactful size when you're wearing them. Next up, we have two styles of fringe necklaces. Now, fringe necklaces you start to see really commonly around the turn of the 19th century, although there is a very famous example of Marie Antoinette wearing a pearl fringe necklace, but they tend to be a little bit later than the 18th century, but they're a really, really beautiful style. Let's put this on for full effect. Now, these are called fringe necklaces because, of course, when you're wearing them, they have that sort of fringe effect with the little teardrop beads. This particular style is made with faceted glass beads in a rich, deep, jet black color. These are not at all clear stones. They're totally opaque and they're really beautiful. And because the glass is faceted, they're actually like shockingly sparkly for, for just you know, black beads. These are some of the prettiest beads I think I have in my shop. And it's a great way to have something that's sparkly, but is not a collet necklace. A new style of fringe necklace is this one, which is made with gold plated glass. And they have this really beautiful sort of antique gold finish on them. That's really warm and shining, really pretty. And I really love the scale of these super narrow teardrops. This is a great color for fall because this gold is really this rich, deep, sort of almost a mustardy yellow gold color. It's really, really pretty. I would not consider this to be like a bright gold. It's definitely sort of this deep color. All right, let's talk about earrings. So you may have noticed these that I'm wearing. This is a new style of Girondole earring that I'm offering. I have lots of these in pearls and crystals, but these are made with the same faceted jet stones as this fringe necklace. So again, you get all that really fun, beautiful sparkle, excellent movement. Oh, and they sound so fun when you're wearing them too. <laughs> so you never forget that you're wearing them because they sort of sing their song to you all day long. Oh yes, I hear you beautiful earrings. <laughs> and 
because these are beads instead of crystal, they actually are a little bit more lightweight than my other styles in this size. Another new style with these uh, faceted jet glass beads, I'm kind of obsessed with these right now, are these little triple ball drop earrings. These are actually inspired by an 1830s portrait where she's wearing sort of these long dangly earrings and they have this wonderful length to them. They dance and move so much. They're really fun to wear. And again, they have that really pretty sparkle that we get from these faceted jet beads. Oh, I kind of can't resist. Ooh. These are nice too because they're also available as clip-ons, so if you don't have pierced ears, this is a nice option for you. And next up we have these amazing glass cameo earrings. These are like the most amazing stones. You can see how they like catch the light. They're flat on the back and they have a gold foil just like my crystals do, but they have this gorgeous iridescence to them. The glass is sort of a soft matte finish on it, so you have this relief of the silhouette that just sort of catches the light. These are my large oval size, so they're quite impactful when you're wearing them, especially in this amazing color. This is a fun new style of uh, shell pearl earrings that I sort of turned into like acorn looking things. Particularly in the 1830s and into the Victorian period, you get some of these sort of novelty shapes of earrings, and I've always really loved the acorn shapes, and I thought they were really nice for fall. So they're a shell pearl teardrop bead with a gold-plated cap on them, and they make for a really fun look when you're wearing them. They're sort of this subtle autumnal shape. These earrings are made with vintage Swarovski crystals in orange topaz, so they're a little bit of a brighter orange than the Madeira topaz I showed you earlier, but they have that wonderful warmth to them, sort of this fiery orange color. These are quite large. These are large oval stones with a large glass teardrop on the bottom, so they're nice and impactful, and they're set in open back settings so that the light really catches them and they sparkle so beautifully. These can also be made as a clip-on style. Next, we have another red pair of earrings. These are made with vintage Swarovski crystals in a beautiful ruby color, and they're set in crown settings. These are sort of like a little drop of blood when you wear them. The color is really beautiful. It's just this rich, deep red tone that's set off so nicely by the crown settings, and these are also available as clip-ons. These are my medium oval size earring. This is another new style of cameo earring. These are made with vintage acrylic cameos in this really pretty tortoise shell finish. They're interesting because they sort of have a little bit of a matte finish on the front of them, so they're not shiny. They have this subtle softness to them, and the relief is really beautiful. Um, the figure of the woman stands out really sharply against sort of the tortoise shell background, and it makes for just a really pretty overall effect. And these are an unusual round, large size cameo, which are super hard to find. So I was really excited when I found these from one of my vintage suppliers, just because they're such a unique size and style. And because they're acrylic, even though they're big, they're really lightweight. So this is a nice option if you're not used to wearing heavier earrings. And these are also available as clip-ons or as pierced shown here. Next up we have what might actually be my favorite piece in this whole collection, which are um, these earrings. Uh, once again, made with Swarovski Indian Sapphire Stones. Now these are a larger one. These are not vintage. These are modern stones, which I don't usually use, but I needed this color so badly and I could only find this size in modern because they're just so beautiful. Uh, so this is the large oval size of Indian Sapphire. It's just the most beautiful color. It's sort of this elusive blue-gray, you know, it's like foggy dusk color. They're just so pretty and they're so sparkly as well. These just catch the light absolutely beautifully. So even though they're a really simple pair of earrings, they're really head-turning and I made a pair for myself. <laughs> so that's how much I like them is that I needed these stones for me and I'll just share some of them with you guys. <laughs> And then finally, as part of this featured collection, are my new super blingy, beautiful Girondole style earrings. So these have actually been available for a few months now. I announced them when I came out with them this summer, but I thought they were a really nice addition to this collection because they're the kind of earring that if you're wearing an absolutely basic, simple black dress, these are like show-stopping earrings. These are quite large, 
and very sparkly as you can see. They're actually made with cubic zirconia. So I had these made, I designed them and, and had a jewelry producer actually make them for me specifically. So they're available in gold plate and silver plate. These are some of the heavier styles of earrings I've ever made. So if you're not used to wearing really big blingy earrings, this probably isn't a good style for you. But if you're used to wearing my regular big earrings, like these are absolutely no problem. These were modeled off the earrings that you see in the 1760s and 1770s when really big flashy Girondal earrings were super popular. They would look especially good with humongous hair, obviously. <laughs> As always, you can find all of these pieces on my website at damesalamode.com, which I will of course link down to below. As I'm posting this video, everything you see here is in stock, but keep in mind that a lot of these pieces are vintage supplies or limited, so I can't guarantee that they will always be in stock. Keep in mind that if you ever want first dibs on any of my pieces, Patreon supporters get first crack at all of my limited pieces and get notified whenever new items are added. So if you want to have the first opportunity at these limited pieces, like some of the ones in this featured collection, you can join my Patreon and the link for that is down below as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful, warm, cozy, and sparkly autumn. Take care.